there's no one here. Yeah, maybe Dio and Kay did that. A lion. A sun? We probably can't use it unless we know what those are. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Might as well forget about- We can't get any- Let's see if we can find- This is the- Shall we? What's wrong? What? How did you figure out the login? What the hell do you mean you just knew it? Why are you bringing that up? It doesn't have anything to do with this. What? I don't... Sure, fine. Just let me get right on that. Are you out of your damn mind? Tell me what the hell is going on here? Why do you know how to log into this computer? Fine. You still don't make any sense, but... I don't think you're lying. And the AB game deadline isn't getting any further away. Alright. Let's see what this thing has for us. Where are we supposed to start? Looks like there's tons of stuff in here. Oh, can you tell me the ID that you put in? I can try searching for that. Maybe we'll get a hit. Looks like it. Don't ask me. You seem to know more about all this than I do. Fine, whatever. Just read the file. Maybe it'll make more sense. Let's see here. Yeah. There's something written underneath it. It says, Appearance after application of ABT. It is this special artificial one of Gollum's... Makes us look right human. Even feels like... <laughs> see? I see. Luna was a golem, and DML016 was her product ID. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how autonomous she really is, but I find it hard to believe she would have come here of her own free will. Probably. Look. At the bottom of the screen, it shows her current status. 
Probably. What if it was some kind of Voight Kampf test? It's from an old book. A test to see how human she was. That might almost explain the whole game, actually. Making us solve puzzles and play the AB game. All of those things could have been designed to give us a chance to see her true nature. Yeah. Luna is the girl locked in the room, and the eight of us are the people outside it. Well, like I always say... All what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person. Right now, I didn't know until I saw this stuff. I don't know why I said that. It just felt like it made sense. Yeah. Look, forget about that. See Luna's status? You think robots die? She was only injected with muscle relaxant. Ten minutes all play if no vote. That might not be the only thing she did. Look. What are the last three digits of her product ID? And where have we seen that before? We should go check her body. You remember where it is? Go. The game hasn't stopped. If we don't vote, we're going to get penalized. bracelet. Two minutes remain. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, Sigma! One minute remains. She's probably planning on participating in the game. Yeah. Betray. I'm sure of it. Why else would she have come here? If she wanted to vote ally, she could have just waited for the deadline to pass. Yeah. Why are you asking, though? Her BP doesn't matter right now. Have you totally lost it? She doesn't have her bracelet on. And besides, she's a golem. She isn't trying to get out. Whether she has 9 BP or not doesn't mean anything to her. Isn't that obvious? She wants to keep our BP below 9. Say she defaulted to ally. We could choose whatever we wanted, and we'd still get 9 BP. She's here to make sure that doesn't happen. 10 seconds remain. 9. 8. 7. 6. Five, four. And I... I trust him. Two, one. Round three. Results. Thank you. Ambidex gates. Now opening. Hey, 
Hey, Sigma, are you insane? Why the hell did you choose Ally? <laughs> That's odd. We came out the moment the gates opened. There's no way she could have left already. <laughs> then... she let the system vote ally for her? Results from Rally. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Yeah, let's go have a look. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet. Yeah, that means all those penalties are meaningless. Why did Luna show up then? I mean, we've got our 9 BP now, but... Alright, what do you want to do, Sigma? Do you want to leave? You sure? Well... That's a relief. I was hoping you'd say that. Now let's get moving. We need to find Quark. Luna... Hmm... The Ambidex Gates have closed. Round 4 of the Ambidex Game will be the Star Round. Star Key. Alright, Quark comes first. Let's go. Sigma, there's something I want to ask you. There are three doors here. You, Alice, and Luna went through the one on the right. That took you to the Gollum Bay, correct? Hmm. Take a look. See the lock? Yeah. There's only one person who could have opened it. Alright. Let's head in. of some sort. Hmm, one of them is lit up. The glass is all fogged up. I can't 
can't really see inside. Yeah. Ready? What's wrong? You're supposed to say, yeah, sure. <laughs> what the hell is this? You want to stay here? What if Luna kills you too? <laughs> Think about it. Alice, Clover, Tenmyoji, the old woman, even Dio and Kay. There's a good chance Luna killed all of them. Why doesn't matter. Remember what we saw on Clover's thigh? And what's that the same number as? Where did we find the old woman's corpse? And if you're right, her brain is in the central computer core. That means she could have easily moved that crane, right? She could have used it anytime she wanted. Exactly. She must have moved the AB room. Alice noticed it right away. At the very least, that would mean Luna had a reason to try and kill Alice. She could also have murdered Dio and Kay. Remember their star keys? Luna must have taken them. Which puts her in the room with Dio and Kay. You understand, don't you? I admit none of this evidence is conclusive, but look at our options. You, me, Quark, and Luna. Who do you think is the most likely to be the murderer? Think this through, Sigma. Luna's a golem. That means she's a robot that's part of this facility. If what you said about golems and the central computer is true, she's basically a puppet of Zero Juniors. There isn't really much of an argument to be made here. The only option is to leave her here and get out. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? A robot with... Damn. Don't scare me like that. Okay, I'm going to open it. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's time we got out of here. Let's go. The number 9 door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you. As the game is over, all doors other than the number 9 door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay.
nice. This is the only place in this whole facility with anything green. I kind of feel silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel happy. I'm not sure what you meant just now, but are you talking about something that happened in another history? <laughs> I know what you can do. Someone told me about it once. They said that you have the ability to transport your consciousness through time. <laughs> Sigma, aren't you here to ask me something? Why I killed them, perhaps? <laughs> oh? Why do you think I didn't do it? I'd like to know your reasoning. Why do you think so? Is that your proof? That's why you think Dio killed her? Then why are you so sure? What? Alright, fine. You caught me, I did. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Wait, when did that happen? Isn't that against the rules?
glad you don't think I did it, but all of your theories are just, well, theories. Like Alice committing suicide. How can you be sure? Say she was infected with Radical Six. She could have been murdered before her symptoms even began to present themselves. As for Clover and Tenmyoji, I could easily have killed them. You don't have any proof that Clover's message was mirrored like you say. Even if it did, that's not conclusive evidence of his guilt. The same goes for Kay and Dio. I could have killed them both. I just... Why do you trust me so much? I'm a machine. I'm part of this place. How can you trust a machine? What? Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? A robot without the three... Sigma? You were right. I didn't kill them. How should I explain? Well, actually, you got most of it right. Well, first, yes. Dio did sneak into the facility. He used the large cargo elevator and came into the warehouse on floor A through the number 9 door. Since the game hadn't started yet, anyone could go through it. Yes, I guess you could say that. He did get in pretty easily, but that's because Zero Jr. lured him here. Dio wasn't a surprise. Both Zeros knew that he was going to come. In a way. Because his presence was an important part of Zero's project. I can't go into that right now. We'd be here forever. Right now, let's just focus on the murders, okay? Anyway, Dio found his way in. They made sure he didn't know that he was actually being let in. To make sure Zero's project failed, his first step was to pretend to be one of the players. As for how he did that, you had it pretty much right. The old woman was the first one out, and he killed her under the graffiti. He put a bracelet on after he wiped the blood off it with the handkerchief. Then he wrapped the knife up and hid it between the 5th and 6th AB rooms. Counting from the left in their original placement. Right. After that, he went back into the 5th AB room where Quark was sleeping. Then he just waited for Quark to wake up. Nothing. I couldn't do anything. My body had been turned off. Zero Jr. had powered me down. My body wasn't activated until after Dio went into the fifth room. I couldn't help her. All I could do was watch while she was murdered. Everything in this place is controlled by Zero Jr. I couldn't try and prevent Dio from getting in either. Yes, that's right. Zero Jr. moved the room, not me. Me. It took me 10 minutes to get out of my AB room once I was turned back on. I ran over to check on her as soon as I did. Then I carried her back to the room I'd been in. Because I was ordered to. Luna, listen to me very carefully. As you already know, the final stage of the project begins in two hours. This will be the culmination of many years of hard work. We cannot afford failure. Yes, I understand. Then let's make sure. What is your mission? Enter the Nonary game as one of the participants and observe the actions of the other players. And show that they do what they are supposed to and guide them down the correct paths. How many players will there be? Myself and seven others, ma'am. Will you be participating as well? Yes. Our plan dictates that I must.
An individual by the name of Dio will be entering this facility presently. You've been briefed on him already, correct? Yes. He will murder the first person to leave one of the AB rooms and take their place. If a pair is the first out, he'll probably kill both of them. That's all the information I've been given on him, ma'am. Um, I Is there a problem? With all due respect, ma'am, I would like to state that I don't feel right about this. We know someone is going to be killed, and we're just going to let it happen? I also have doubts about the use of Radical Six. Are... are you sure? Infecting all these people with such a horrible disease. That is none of your concern. Your only concern is to follow your orders. But... Luna, I am giving you an order. I am in command, and you do as I say. You are programmed to do as I say. You know this. Yes. Good. Now, I have one final order. Another order, ma'am? Yes. When you leave the A-B room, the person Dio has killed will still be there. I would like you to move them. Where? To the room you are about to enter. The sixth A-B room. But... Not your concern. As a participant in the game, you must have as little knowledge of it as possible. That is why I have made sure you are unable to access any classified data. There are things you must not know. In order for this project to succeed, we need you to be as close to a clean slate as possible. There are some things you already know, which ideally you would not. Unfortunately, this is unavoidable. You must never tell anyone what you know about Dio or the body. You will have to pretend you know nothing more than the rest of the participants. Is that an order? Yes. Do I make myself clear? Yes. After that, I went into the AB room as, I, as soon as I stepped inside. My body deactivated. But since my brain is in the main computer, I was still awake. So I still saw everything. While I waited, I used the security cameras to see what was going on in the rest of the facility. Yes, it was... hard. What I was seeing made no sense. Several of my higher level processes nearly failed. To think that she would be the first person to come out. I think she knew that Dio was going to kill her. When she'd said she had one final order for me, I didn't understand what she meant. Like a fool, I told her I didn't approve, when I had no idea what she was prepared to do. When she died, whatever I have that passes for a heart, felt like it snapped in two. But she wasn't the only person I took orders from. Yes. Yes. We worked together to develop the project she mentioned. So I suppose technically my orders came from both of them. And they were both controlling Zero Junior too. I told you before that Zero Junior moved the 6th AB room. Although that's strictly true, he didn't do it of his own free will. They ordered him to do it. He was following orders just like me. I don't know. I really don't. Maybe they did it so that people wouldn't suspect me. Then... Maybe they wanted the opposite. Maybe they wanted you to suspect me. You're right. Then maybe they only wanted certain people to be suspicious of me. Yes. Perhaps they wanted Alice to find the handkerchief and the knife. That would explain why they moved the room. Yes, I think so. Well, whatever the reasons were, Alice did notice that the room was moved, which meant that Clover also figured it out. And just like you said, Alice used the knife to... to take her life. Clover didn't realize that, though. Or perhaps she didn't want to. In any event, 
she decided that I must have killed Alice to keep her quiet. So she confronted me. It was right after the second round of the AB game. Using Phi's timetable, that would be zero hours, zero minutes. Yes. That wasn't all I was listening to, though. I know everything that happened in the facility after my body collapsed. Yes, I was. I could see and hear everything. Anyway, we're at zero hours, zero minutes. I was in the hallway on floor A when Clover found me and took me to room two in the crew quarters. We entered at about zero hours, one minute. She was very... forceful. I know you killed Alice. Tell me the truth and I'll let you live. Now fess up! I'm only gonna give you one chance. If you lie or try to play dumb or something, I'll kill you right in front of her! I told her the truth, of course. I explained that I hadn't killed Alice, that she'd been infected with Radical Six, and it had caused her to kill herself. Clover was never going to believe that, though. We argued about it for nearly nine minutes. It wasn't just Alice she asked me about. She asked me about the murder of the old woman, and about the A-B room being moved. She wasn't very nice about it, but I couldn't answer any of her questions. Yes. Then, at about zero hours, ten minutes, she must have run out of patience. She stuck her hand in her pocket and started moving toward me. She backed me up against the wall, and pulled her hand out of her pocket. She was holding the injection gun. I tried to take it away from her. I even screamed for help. She refused to let go, of course, while we were fighting over it. You mean, because I'm a golem? One of my orders was always to act like I was one of the players. A human. Any human injected with that amount of tubocurarine would die. No, I collapsed because Zero Jr. turned off the power to my body again. He probably felt he had to. Maintaining the illusion that I was human was probably in his orders, too. So to make it look like I had died, he turned the power off. Whatever the case, it was an accident. I don't think Clover ever intended to actually kill me. She only took the injection gun to try and threaten me. When I collapsed, she looked terrified. She checked for my pulse and listened to see if I was breathing. She also shook my body and called out to me several times. If she'd meant to kill me, why do all that? After a few moments, she ran off to the infirmary to get the AED. Yes. Correct. Yes. She ran off toward the infirmary. On the way, she bumped into Dio. Yes, I guess she just saw him, really. They didn't talk. She just ran past. Yes, I imagine he was curious, of course. He probably wondered what she was doing. But he chose not to go after her. He had something else to do. He seemed pretty surprised to find my body. It didn't take him long to get over it, though. He'd gone there for two reasons. One was to get Alice's bracelet, which was a blue solo. Yeah, but he couldn't find it. Yes. But there was something else he wanted to do, too. He was there to take the knife. Removing it was... gruesome. No, I don't think so. I think he didn't want anyone to see the engraving on the knife's blade. That's why he hid it so well after he killed the old woman. Do you remember what it- There was a- Yes. It's the name of the organization. I don't think- Um, I'm afraid- Yes. Um, I don't know about that. 
true. He's killed four people. I'm not really sure he's on anyone's side. May I continue? He heard Kay opening the cyan door and ran out. When he left, he was heading toward the infirmary. My guess is that he was going after Clover. He found her with the AED. She was probably planning to just ignore him and head back. But Theo didn't let her. Hey, wait. Just what are you planning to do with that thing? Thinking about trying to resuscitate Luna? And why would you want to do that? You were the one who killed her, weren't you? The fuck do you think you're doing? What are you doing? None of your goddamn business. Stay out of this, you senile old shit. Like hell, you son of a bitch! until the primary white doors open. So I'd say you've got 25 minutes until they close. If somebody happens to come by here before the doors close, you might live. But if nobody finds you, well... We'll be penalized. Exactly. So, I suggest you start screaming for help now. Unfortunately for you, just about all the rooms in this place are behind at least two nice thick doors. So unless they're pretty close, nobody's gonna hear you scream. Well, I'm off to the Floor B warehouse, okay? Enjoy your last 25 minutes. Later. Twenty-five minutes passed, and no one came. Of course, by then there were only three other people who could have come, apart from Dio. Yes, you were in the crew quarters at this point. <laughs> Unfortunately for Clover and Tenmyoji, their time had come. Once the primary white door closed, both of their bracelets injected them with Soparil. Yes, almost immediately, I think that's when Clover realized she was definitely going to die. That was when she decided to leave her message. Just as you said. Yes. As for what happened in the rec room, well, I guess I don't really need to tell you. Your theory was essentially correct. What you said was what happened. Yes. After they went through the white door, when they were done there, they headed back to floor A to they went to the crew quarters first, then to the infirmary. Of course, they found Clover and Tenmyoji's bodies there. Theo expected to find them, of course, but he pretended to be shocked. Anyway, Kay checked them over for anything useful. Right.
that's everything that happened. Do you have any questions? Um... Tenmyoji had it. Then when Dio attacked him, it fell out of his pocket. I told him where it was. Do you remember when you were in the rec room with Fai and Tenmyoji? Right after that. When he left the rec room, he went toward the green door to look for Quark. I ran into him at the end of the hallway. That was when I told him. Look, Tenmyoji. The center door is unlocked. He took off through it without another word. Yes. Right. It only took him a moment. As soon as he saw Clark, he ran to his pod and started crying. Yes. The display on the pod showed Clark's vital signs. It was obvious he was alive the moment you looked at it. Next to the pod was Clark's bracelet. That was how Tenmyoji got it. I took it off. Aluminum foil? Oh, you found it? Did you know that aluminum foil has electromagnetic shielding properties? Here's an exciting fact! Anyway, you fancy little bracelets get up on that. Yes, all you have to do is wrap it around your bracelet. Yes. Anyway. I used some aluminum foil to get Quark's bracelet off. Then I put it next to the pod. Oh, that's easy. I put him there. Remember when we were first looking for Quark? I found him unconscious near the entrance to the Golem Bay. Yes. No, I was not. I do not have the authority to operate any of this facility's machinery. That's right. Infected with Radical Six. Zero Senior and the old woman did that. It was a necessary evil. Clover wouldn't have suspected me, and she wouldn't have accidentally... Um, killed me. I wouldn't have collapsed, and Dio wouldn't have found my body. That would have meant the confrontation in the infirmary never took place. Yes. I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Because Dio killed the old woman, he was worried about getting caught. Yes. So that he could pose as one of the participants. To disrupt the project. The same reason they did all of this. It was a necessary evil. Sigma, would you hug me? This feels nice. I'm sorry, my ABT is usually held in place by muscle fiber. But after Clover gave me the tubocurarine... Does... Does it scare you? This is what I really look like. I'm a golem. Just a... A machine. A jumble of metal and plastic that pretends to be real.
you believed in me this whole time. Even though I look like... Like this? Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish I could stay here forever. But I think my time is up. I've done things I really shouldn't have. Do you remember what you asked me earlier? About if Zero Jr. had reactivated my body? Remember? The truth is... He didn't. I did. I went to the part of the core that controls Zero Jr. And I hacked it. Yes, that was the first thing. The second... Do you know what the sec... If I had really wanted to... I could have saved Clover and Tenmyoji. Then K and Dio probably wouldn't have killed each other. That's not all. I could have stopped Alice from killing herself. And I could have even saved the old woman at the very beginning. In other words, I had the ability to disobey my orders. But I... I didn't. That's the second thing. I broke the first law. I was scared. I... I was afraid to die. Obviously, hacking the core and taking control of Zero Junior's systems is... Very, very bad. Golems who don't follow orders can become dangerous. You lose access to your body, of course. But everything that's stored in the core... Your memories... Your consciousness is deleted. Yes, very soon now I'll be gone. Zero Junior is probably recovering himself right now. Once he's done, I doubt I'll be around much longer. I watched six people die and did nothing. I deserved this. Oh, Sigma. Thank you. I'm really glad I met you. I'm sorry. My time's up. At least I get to die in your arms. Thank you, Sigma. And goodbye, Doctor.